Hi, and welcome to the Australian 2019 tax year. Let's talk tax. Is there any better topic? We're gonna to take a few minutes to talk about two things. What you need to know to do your tax return and what the HO is focusing on this year. So what's changed this year? Well, firstly, let's talk tax rates. The tax rates that will apply in your 2018 tax return have not changed much. The only change is the removal of the temporary budget repair levy. This was a 2% tax on income over $180,000. This tax won't apply in your 2018 tax return. The tax withheld from your salary should have probably factored this in. Now to personal superannuation contributions. You're able to claim a tax deduction for contributions you personally make into your super fund. Remember, any contribution you claim as a deduction will count towards your concessional cap and you'll need to complete a specific ATO form to flag your intention to claim that deduction before you lodge your return. The ATO have indicated that they will deny deductions if that process is not followed. Now to rental properties. As usual, you need to report income you receive from renting out a property. You can also claim deductions for expenses you incur in renting out that property. Two new things this year. Travel costs are no longer deductible. You can no longer claim a deduction for the cost of traveling to your property to inspect it or maintain it. Things like flights, car expenses, accommodation are no longer deductible. Also, the depreciation rules have changed. For assets you've bought before 9th of May 2017, you can still continue to claim a depreciation deduction. We're talking things like a dishwasher or a washing machine. For assets you acquire after this date though, you can only claim a deduction if the asset was first used in the rental property, meaning you cannot claim a deduction if, the, if it was previously used. As you might expect, there are quirks in the rules and exceptions. PwC can help you work out your proper deduction. What is the ATO focusing on? Deductions, deductions, deductions. The ATO this year will use real-time monitoring to check taxpayer deductions. This technology will compare your claim against the claims of your peers. What deductions are people claiming that are in similar occupations to you or earning similar amounts of money to you? There'll be a focus on claims for motor vehicles, travel, phone, internet, and self-education. The HR will be looking at things like, did you claim only the work portion of your phone bill or the entire amount? The HO could check deductions with your employer, like whether your cents per kilometre motor vehicle claim is reasonable. The HO will also be looking at rental expenses. So let's talk that through. The HO will look at things like, is the mortgage interest claim right? If the property is jointly owned, have you correctly prorated the income and expenses between the owners or just allocated it to the taxpayer with the higher income? The HO will also look at how you've dealt with private use of your property. So this is relevant not only to holiday homes, but also where you've lived in your home during the year and have rented it out. Finally, has a property been genuinely available for rent during the year? The HO will want to see that reasonable efforts have been made to rent your property out at a rate that's commercial before they will allow deductions. So what does all this mean? Well, it doesn't mean you shouldn't claim expenses. Just make sure they're allowable and that you can substantiate them. Well, that's all from me. It's been lovely to talk tax with you. It's now time to embark on the magical tax return journey. If you'd like to chat about your taxes further, please get in touch with your usual PwC contact or one of the people listed here.